Welcome to an introduction to CVS Suite Studio. We're going to use CVS Suite Studio to import some files from your PC, create a sandbox, make some changes to those files, see the whole version history, and even restore changes from a previous point in time. So we start off with some files on your PC here on the right, and on the left hand side we can see that your server has been automatically discovered. So to import from the PC to the server, just drag from the right hand side there over to the left hand side. There we go, that's all there is to it. You can now browse those files and directories on the server. In order to create a sandbox on the local PC, a workspace on the PC, where your changes can be made and tracked and controlled, we simply drag from the server on the left to somewhere else on the right hand side. Here we're dragging to the My Documents folder. When that appears on the right hand side, it's got a green tick to say there that it's connected to the server and that there's no changes. Now I'm using a reserved mode server here, so in order to make a change to that file, I need to click CVS Edit first. That's only if you've set the server for reserved mode. Now that the file is reserved, I can make a change using whatever editor that I like. Here I'm using Notepad, but you could use Eclipse or Visual Studio or Microsoft Office, whatever you want. I save those changes and the file in Civia Suite Studio turns to orange. You might have to refresh that screen just so that you can see it turn to orange. And now I'm going to use the CVS diff function to compare those changes side by side so I can see what it was on the left and now what it is on the right. I'm happy with that so I'm going to use CVS commit that creates a new revision stored on the server so that other people can see my changes as well. And we're all done. We've made a change. We've created a new revision. But let's say that I'm not happy with that revision. Uh, I want to go back in time. We can look back in time using the revision graph. Here we go. We've got two revisions. And I decide, look, I want to go back to revision 1.1. There's lots of different ways you can do that in CVS Suite. I'm just going to show you one very simple way here. In order to make this change, just like any other change in a reserved mode, you have to reserve the file first. That's only necessary if you've enabled reserved mode. Now that I have enabled it for, for editing, I can go back into the revision graph, click on revision 1.1, click the diff function and I'm just going to click this one bit button at the top which moves all my changes back hit the save there we go I'm done the file has changed again you can see it's orange I'm just going to commit that just like I did last time and now I end up with a new revision the same as my first one and people can see that I decided to go backwards that's an introduction to using CVS Suite with CVS Suite Studio. We've got some other demonstrations using CVS Suite with Uniface, doing a promote release change set model. Check it out on the website.